Just got done with the final mow of the year with the Simplicity Regent. This is my first season using it, and you can see there's a beautiful job of cutting. I blew all the leaves off with my backpack blower first because otherwise you're constantly emptying the bags, and it does plug up with that. I, I did a separate video on that test. Um, so overall, uh, for this season, I've been very happy with it. Overall, for this season, I've been very happy with the Simplicity, Re Simplicity Regent 38-inch deck. Bagger system, um, my lawn has never looked better. When I get done mowing it, uh, you've got a good sense of accomplishment and pride in how well it looks um, with the striping and the evenness of the cut. So uh, by far a big win there. I've had a few minor issues with it, but nothing, nothing major that I'd be uh, worried about overall. I'm impressed and uh, think it's a great machine because this is the last cut of the year. I'm going to clean everything up really well. Um, unfortunately, it's, it's extremely nice out today, which, which is good. Um, but we've had a lot of freezing weather, especially at night. Um, we've we've been well into the 20s, um, so all my water's disconnected. I'm not going to get my hoses back out for that. So I'm going to take the deck off, clean that out underneath, uh, use my leaf blower to blow everything else off, um, and then in the garage maybe I'll just wipe things down with a rag if I want to get them clean. But uh, I'm not going to use any water today for that reason. You can see here there's a, a good buildup. And that, so I want to get that out of there. I'll take the deck off. First thing you want to do to get your deck off is first lower it down. Next thing you have to do is disconnect your height of cut motor. So that's this little thing. Just pinch it there, pull it apart. Then we can disconnect the front of the deck, which is a nice handle right here on the front. You pull in this piece here which locks it in place then after you do that you're able to pull it up and forward and get it to uh, drop off of its hook there so this bar just rests in these hooks and so when you retract this piece it's not locked in place and you have to just pull it up off these hooks and it drops down like this once it's down we can see our drive belt there. We can easily disconnect that. The next thing we have to do is disconnect our lift cables. So that's these pieces in back. We just pull out this cotter pin and make sure we don't lose our washer. I like to put that washer and cotter pin back on our lift cable so we don't lose it, but I'll go do the other side. Once we have everything disconnected there, we can put that lever back up top, kind of get it away. Then I like to turn the wheel all the way to the left. And then we can just pull our deck out. To move it around, because we've got the roller on the back. You can use the front as a handle here and wheel it around nicely. I don't think the blower nozzle, I don't think uh, scraping compacted grass is on the uh, use, list, use list for the blower nozzle, so I got a scraper out and uh, just going to break this stuff free. While I'm in here, I'm going to get these blades off. Uh, I'm going to sharpen those anyway, so I'll get those off so they're out of my way.
All right, that's good enough for now. I got this cleaned up. Uh, the other thing I wanted to check on here is the weld broke on this earlier, and I replaced it with a rivet. I've got a separate video on that of, of uh, repairing this deck, and that seems like that's holding strong, so that's a, a good deal. I'm going to clean this up better this winter, so I'll have an episode coming up where I put a non-stick coating on here. So whether it's a graphite paint or maybe some sort of a Teflon coating, I'm definitely going to try that out and see if that makes an improvement on preventing the grass from sticking on this. One other thing I'm going to do before I put this away for winter is put some fresh grease in the blade spindles here. Doesn't need a lot, just a few pumps. Now, this is a little bit less convenient than most others. Uh, mower decks these days, they have this greaser on the top side so you can just pop in grease anytime. Um, but this is actually putting the grease, there's a bearing below here and a bearing above uh, to fully support this um, spindle shaft. And this is actually the correct place to put this dirt. It's not the most convenient, but we're injecting grease between the two bearings. And so it forces some to the lower bearing and some to the upper. If we're putting it at above, we're relying on it having to pass through that top bearing, make its way through the cavity and then to the bottom bearing. So, um, you know, th those are sort of engineered for convenience, not actually uh, for the best possible place to inject grease. So. If you're wondering, that is why Simplicity has stuck with this location because it's actually for bearing life and lubrication. This is the correct place to put it. All right, I just shoved the mower deck under there to store it temporarily until I get some more time. Going to clean it better, put that anti-stick coating underneath it. Also going to do some more maintenance on the lawn tractor before. Uh, I think I'm going to change the oil and uh, blow out the air filter. 